Oh, yeah. oh. But here we go, moving on to our first mixed martial arts fight of the night. An incredible matchup made between AJ Baez and Neil Mazumdar. AJ. AJ Playboy Baez coming to us from Iron Body MMA out in Western Mass from Springfield, making his debut tonight against somebody with already two fights in Neil Mazunda. Now, Andy, AJ Baez has some experience in here, doesn't he? Has, did, was he in any of our uh, Muay Thai fights, or am I thinking of someone else? Nope, I've never seen Baez compete. This is not his complete here. first he, fight, yep, Complete first fight that okay. I have seen him in. Um, but Mazumdar suffered a quick knockout loss to Jake Dillon in his debut. But when he came back Excellent to comeback take fight. on Omar Guerrero, that was a fantastic slugfest that lasted three rounds where he showcased his chin, his cardio, and his striking ability. So a tough drink of water for the debuting AJ Playboy Baez, who makes the walkout right now. As someone who's made the walk to the professional cage over 30 times in his career, what's the best piece of advice you can give someone making their inaugural walk as an amateur, Johnny Campbell? To just really be in the moment as much as possible. It's There's so many mental things that be, can be going on right before a fight. And the better that we can just be in the, the now and just experience life for what it is, just an experience, makes it way easier. <laughs> But when you start putting expectations out there, it can be a stressful event. So he looks very cool. He does not look like it's his first walk. Yeah, and Baez looks very cool and confident right now, very ready for this moment. He looks like a good-sized flyweight, too. Yeah, he really does. His frame is, is tall. Yeah, both of these guys camp. Uh, Iron Body MMA. Iron Body. Out of, out of, um, we, have Western we seen Massive. anyone from Iron Body before? Anybody that I'd be familiar with? Uh, I believe Pastor Acevedo is out of Iron Body. Uh, he fought Andrew Valdina last time out. So they've, um, they've, they had take a couple, tough fights. they've had a couple of names come through the past few shows. And yes, they have all taken tough fights. And this one, no different. Mm. A debut AJ Baez steps in for the first time after paying accolades to the lively crowd here in Plymouth. Circles around, looking confident, looking ready as he awaits the much more experienced opponent, Neil Mazumdar, who's looking to follow that momentum from his last fight where he won over the crowd in an absolute barn burner. Potentially fight of the year, you gonna, would you lump it in there? There's been so many great fights, and I gotta say, this is one of my highlight walkout songs picked for the night. Mm. Know your enemy, Rage Against the Machine. Here we go. This kid's got some good ones, does Mazumdar. A cardiologist by day who just loves fighting so much he needs to take him down. Wow. Take as many fights as he can. Andy Cody in his corner. And it looks like he's got Jeff Perez in there as well. Very cool. So Perez making a return walk as a cornerman here. Stud Supporting crew. His teammate. Yes. Great martial artist, uh, you know, uh, fighting practitioners over there at City of Tong. One of the longest standing signature names in this region for mixed martial arts in New England. Cardiologist. He is a cardiologist wow. by day. That's or, impressive. That's a smart man right there. It's a man who knows a lot about heart. <laughs> and he yeah. showed that he's got a lot of it in his last fight. Yep. I know. Toughness. But tons of skill as well. Absolutely. I mean, to make a comeback from a knockout loss like that in his first fight, in, in his first fight ever, and then come back and have a burner second fight and win the way he did says a lot about him as a fighter already early in his career. It's kind of good to get a fight like that because you might question yourself in some way after having a difficult fight in that first one. So to come out and be like, yeah, I can I can take this. It's He's going to be on a different level of confidence, I bet, tonight. Yeah, and his second fight was no easy fight either. It was a challenge. He really got a chance to prove that he can come back from a big loss like that and to learn about yourself early in your career like that is it's it really was, big man and aj baez is going to have a huge challenge tonight and it was a banger of a fight back and forth battle many momentum shifts as we await our tail of the tape here take it away from the measurables boys as i get myself set and our tail of the uh, tape sponsored by coops bar and grill 
We got Pedro Baez versus Neil Masmar here. Pedro's coming in at 23 years old. Height and weight's pretty much the same. Neil came in at 26, reaches the same. Great chest hair. Excellent chest hair. And he's gonna take it away here. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the first fight of the evening. An amateur mixed martial arts contest taking place at the flyweight division, scheduled for three rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, standing at five feet six inches tall, he weighed in at 124 and one half pounds. From Springfield, Massachusetts, he's representing Iron Body MMA. And ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for tonight he makes his MMA debut. Let's hear it for AJ Playboy Bias. And now introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, Holding an amateur mixed martial arts record of one victory and one defeat. He stands five feet seven inches tall and he weighed in at 126 pounds. From Boston, Massachusetts, by way of London, Ontario, Canada, he's representing back to basics jujitsu and sit your tongue. Make some noise for Neil Mazumdar. And our referee for this matchup is Tommy Santana. Both of these gentlemen look very ready for this fight tonight. Great shape, both of them. These Cage Titans cards lately have been, uh, the openers have been bangers. All right, referee, traditionally. referee Tommy Santana making, I, first time referee in here, Cage Titans. New ref. I, I heard. love it. Here we go. And right they're away. swinging right away. Good. Right away. Mazumdar not wasting any time swinging. No time for glove touch. But nice head movement Bias early. Bias game two. Bias had some nice head Big movement while he's down. coming in. Outstanding takedown. Very explosive. You can tell Bias has hands. But both guys landing in that exchange. Bias on top, but. Bias showing great top game right now. Finding economic shots to land when he can, but Mazumdar still moving his hips on the bottom. Doing a great job Mazumdar defensively. Needs to get out here. He's got the underhook on the right side. See if he uses that. Fast pace right now. Very yeah. fast. I like how Baez is, you know, reaching with the right hand, trying to control the hips of Mazumdar. Let that go as he stacks up. Nice get up from Mazumba. Gets up. Not even a minute in right now. One minute coming up. These boys nice are going combo. for it. Way to set up that head kick. Just missed. Baez got that block up. Oh, beautiful combo again. Yeah, the combos are coming very well for Mazumba right now. Baez going for another takedown here. He's deep. He's got his hands together. That's the second time he's hit that level oh, change. Outstanding. And the second time he's completed the takedown. Anyone talk about wrestling with him? He seems to maybe like he wrestled. He's mixing it up. Bit. Very well. I don't think we've seen a lot of Mazdamar on the ground either. Yeah, that Baez was... seems very comfortable here. Oh, great. He's got that gift wrap or... Oh, that's beautiful right there. That's that... a pristine opportunity to fire off some really effective ground and pound if he gets that could be oh my gosh he's using that fantastic from the Ma guard no quitting Mazumdar though no surprise there that he's still doing his best to try to keep moving this is this is normally you don't want to be flat on your back but this is one where to escape that Dagestani handcuff sometimes you try to flatten yourself up to make it more difficult to reach that wrist is that's exactly what Mazumdar did and he's yep. still in not a pristine position, but he's better making, than having that his, arm locked. He's getting his space too. In he's like trying a case to get away though, right from the now. cage there. Yep, see how he's pushing out? Well, he's got the underhook so he can come out the back. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Baez gotta be careful he doesn't get his back taken. Oh, great work. He's gonna explode up here. He's a high level amateur fight to start this night. Oh, oh big oh, shot right there. Big shot. I'm impressed with the pressure that Baez is able to put on Mazumdar right now. But high Mazum level. Mazumdar, oh, now into mount though. This is Mazumdar, though. back to half guard, still right. active. Mazumdar just always moving. Very vigilant with that half guard immediately. Very impressive first round for Baez. Definitely got the jitters out of the way. Mm. I'd say so, looking seasoned in there. Yeah, short time and Mazumdar 
Great work. He's going to have to make some adjustments in his corner here. Okay. Again with that underhook. Great job with that reversal last second. But just like before, when he was in that kind of queso position, he was sneaking out with the underhook, doing the right thing. And Baez was able to recognize that and stay on top. But towards the end, Mazumdar able to score a reversal there. Not enough to steal the round by any means. But we're going to see what a kind of adjustments though. that he can make yep. in between rounds and on the fly as this fight goes on and see if he can capitalize on a first fight adrenaline dump that happens so often. Not to say it's going to happen here with it Baez, could. who looks very seasoned in there for making his debut. Yeah, it, the way he's given up that underhook, though, it does look like very much wrestling. So if he continues to give that underhook up, we could see Mazumdar start taking some of these exchanges. Mazumdar has great jujitsu down there on the ground. It's just Baez has the dominant wrestling clearly. Tenacious too, Mazumdar. So yeah. the wrestling, always, the wrestler keep... always finds his way on top. Absolutely. So true. Found his way on top and, you know, just the way he was piecing together some combinations and the level changes, you would have been completely fooled if you thought it was his debut. But it is, and he's making Mas quite an impression, but... We know Mazumdar. He's Very been here. High fight IQ in this one. High output in the first round. Let's see what they got for the second. Mazumdar trying to sneak an uppercut in there on the level change. Baez is going right for the grappling. He's doing a leg pick here. Great, great job with that right knee getting in between the legs of Mazumdar pinning the left knee and then just shifting him slowly off balance to try to s score a takedown there. I like the way he's chaining together these. Look at that. Right knee goes in between. Never mind. Mazumdar steps back Clock on that underhook. one. That underhook. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's going for a ride. Here we go. Here the we wizard. Go. Now a takedown for Mazumdar. Not enough on the wizard for Baez. Now Mazumdar trying to get some revenge in the ground and pound department. He's doing it too. Great work. Resumed our show and bias. He has a little ground and pound for him, too. This is a fight. That's how it goes. Yeah, Mazumda, not a guy who gets deterred. If he has a tough round or a tough minute, he's just right back at it as soon as possible. Like you said, adjustments. They get made during fights. And what did he do? He was ready for the clinch game. Oh. Countered it. Reversed it. Oh, look at that straight arm bar yeah, attempt. Maybe. Okay. Nope. Never mind. Mazumda was Oak safe from the that neck. from the start. Sometimes when the game plan striking, you find out that you have the better grappling and you go to that. Mm -hmm. Now, I kind of like what Mazumdar's doing here, not committing to two hooks. He's kind of riding them right here. And he's kind of got an instep where he doesn't have the hook to Baez keep him from sliding off the top. had a big opportunity to get up there and he, it didn't seem like he took it. There, he's got both hooks in. Much better position for yep. him to try to finish this choke. He's that locking that good. in. It looks like it's getting in there. He's just got to dig that hand. That might be pick. under the chin there. That looks like it's really yeah. cinched up. Absolutely. Baez might have blown out in the first round. I don't here. know. He's trying to fight the hands. He's looking like he is fighting the hands effectively. He might have oh. that chin in. Mm. I didn't see it. There's the tap, and that's it. Wow. Neil Mazumdar. Great work. With I thought that came out for a second. Coming up with a finish for the first time in his <laughs> amateur career wow. with the second round rear naked choke against A.J. Baez, but Baez for his debut looked as seasoned Damn, as you could. Wrestling. And what do we talk about? Possibly an adrenaline dump, a little bit of an adjustment made. That and was high output in the not, first round. But it was extremely high output, but he showed so much promise and he's going to learn a lot in this. But Neil Mazumdar showing, not, uh, showing again that he can make adjustments on the fly. He can overcome adversity and he can... And now he's proven that he can finish a fight mm. with his jiu-jitsu skills. I love it. Absolutely. What a fight. Yeah, Neil's been getting some really good tests early in his career here, and being able to make another big turnaround like that, that was very impressive to see. Especially him dominate the grappling like that. I didn't yep. expect that, but if it you were seemed, right, he was getting those underhooks. Yep, it seemed like the jujitsu, he just had that experience bump, and it just really showed itself in that second round. But as I bet, I mean, I don't, I don't know much about him, but I have a feeling he cut quite a bit of weight, and it's possible. First fight, you cut a lot of weight, you get... A little tired, I know that. It's not an easy thing. So what a fight, though. I'm assuming. He's Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for these two. The zoom out looking outstanding. Absolutely. Referee Tommy Santana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes and two seconds of round number two.
giving you your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Neil Mazumba. What a fight. That dude's a force.